Hi there, this is Brian from quantlabs.net. Uh, what I'm about to show you is something very revolutionary from uh, the makers of uh, MATLAB, MathWorks. Uh, it's in the latest version of MATLAB 2011A, and uh, it's a toolkit called Coder. Um, what I'm about to show you is something quite, quite powerful. Okay, let me just show you. I have created a uh, set of files, uh, zip files that you can download from our site at, here at quantlabs.net. If you go under quantlabs.net slash labs and then quant hyphen books, you will find uh, the files uh, that you are needing. What you're looking for uh, under the MATLAB section is um, something called here MATLAB 2011A Coder M file demo converted to Visual Studio. Uh, with a C sharp test application um, and this is the URL that you might need uh, you can download it um, obviously right here um, and what I'm about to show you right now is how I generate these files and how you, ca you can use them in your quant development uh, and it's quite powerful as I said okay let's go into MATLAB 2011 in here in MATLAB this is 2011 uh, release to uh, let me say that again. MATLAB release 2011A. Uh, included in that version is a new toolkit called Coder. Uh, what MATLAB has done, or MathWorks has done, is created this new toolkit, which is very powerful. I'm not going to give you a uh, detailed overview of it. Um, there's lots of good uh, resources available from MathWorks on their site at MathWorks.com. If you just do a uh, Google search for uh, MATLAB Coder 2 uh, toolkit, you'll find all the necessary um, docu uh, documents, uh, videos, uh, really supportive and very informative uh, information how to use this uh, toolkit. It's very powerful. Basically what it does, it enables you to uh, have all your algorithmic based um, M files which are part of uh, MATLAB and then you're able to cre uh, convert those M files um, into either C or C++ um, and that's not going through the uh, or generating a MEX file which is just basically a, uh, a bridge between a MATLAB, a headless version of MATLAB, as well as your um, final source files. So this way they enable you to generate the source code and then plug them into your target uh, platform. In this case being Quant, obviously it could be a trading platform. So uh, this is a pretty pretty powerful, uh, I've said that three times, but it's it's very compelling on, on its capabilities. Anyways, if you type in Coder, you're coming up to this uh, Coder uh, project GUI uh, form, whatever you want to call it, pop up and enables you to create a coder based project. So, what you need to do is you need to go through a process to convert and make sure that your M files are ready to be coded um, or converted through the uh, coder toolkit. Again, the mathworks.com uh, site will show you how to do that and how to convert everything over and prepare all your uh, M files for uh, the conversion process from uh, MATLAB. So basically you can either uh, create your project or you can open a new one um, and basically what you um, would need to know is the sort of uh, uh, base that you would need for uh, for the structure of the uh, coder file. So basically uh, in, in that file, uh, zip file that you can download from my site, uh, there's a variety of uh, uh, structures that uh, code uh, MATLAB generates um, using the code, uh, your coder toolkit. So these are your um, basic uh, header files, your source uh, C uh, files, C++ files, say if you're doing C++ as well as some supportive C++ and header files. Um, again, you can minimize your uh, your code that is generated from the coder toolkit. Uh, again, just check out the MathWorks uh, site for that. So anyways, um, if you come into uh, this section here under MATLAB Coder C++ Static Library, there's numerous choices that you have as you um, build your uh, project uh, from your set of M files. So in my case, you can just do, uh, I'm just doing a simple hello world uh, file just to demo its capabilities. Uh, again, you have the choice of generating a MEX file, a C++ Static Library file, or a C++ uh, executable. As I said before, there are a number of uh, settings that you have to control your compiler, what's generated, 
um, and um, it, it, they, they, they've done an awesome job at, you know, even targeting what kind of hardware implementation, your implement, your optimization, your different uh, types of coding styles, all kinds of great stuff. Um, and you can play with that to uh, enable you to minimize your code or if you want to make it, I don't know, as detailed as possible, you have those options available to you. So basically, I'm just going to do a basic build. Um, and uh, what it's doing right now is after you know pressing obviously the build it's going to build the project in the converted code but what it will generate is this um, uh, set of uh, a structure of different files as I showed you before basic C++ some supportive uh, there's a make file uh, but the difficulty coming out of MATLAB is that this set set of files for your converted C++ files are really ready for a Linux or a Unix based environment and there seems to be some difficulty or I, I must be missing a step that I, I, I just don't know where I couldn't convert uh, this these set of files to a Visual Studio project so what I've done is with the original um, downloadable files from the site this thing is I've shown you how to not just create uh, all the files that are from within uh, MATLAB but also showing you how to create uh, a DLL, a C++ DLL from uh, your Visual Studio environment. It is a managed uh, DLL uh, code base as well as there's also a C Sharp application in there that will import the DLL and then you'll be able to read the functions that are generated from MATLAB from that C++ DLL. So that's what I'm about to show you right now. Okay, let me get started. Okay, so I've shown you the code base of what the generated code will look like from MATLAB. And this is the generate code from the um, the MATLAB uh, environment going through that coder toolkit, uh, uh, you know, that code base. But let me just show you uh, the original um, file for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, just give me a second here. Okay, this is what I'm about to show you is the original um, M file. Very simple uh, file. It's just a it's a it's a MATLAB um, uh, uh, M file, um, and it's basically a function, uh, and it's basically uh, setting a variable. Um, and this little directive right here, this percent uh, underscore cogen, tells MATLAB this is this function is going to be used to uh, be part of the code, um, the coder uh, toolkit process to be converted to C or C++. So basically that is the M file, very basic, but it does generate uh, numerous files for that. But um, once you've converted the uh, C, C, let's say C++ files, you need to then uh, import it into your uh, Visual uh, Studio. Um, this version of Visual Studio I'm using right now is uh, the Visual C++ uh, 2010 Express. Um, right here is um, the final result of that uh, fi uh, of of the DLL that I'm going to create within uh, C the C++ that's needed for let's say my .NET application, which could be, as I said, a trading platform. Um, so let's say you want to start start new. Um, so let me just bring up another uh, session of Visual Studio uh, 